Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help. Today, guys, I'm going to take a look at this guitar here. This is my very, very trusty Les Paul Studio. It's been an absolute workhorse for me over the years. It's pretty beaten up because it's done hundreds of gigs. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's one of my number one go-to guitars. A couple of years ago, I changed the pickups in it to these bare knuckle Nantucket humbucker sized P90s, which gives it a lot more bite in the upper mids to help you really cut through a dense mix. So it gets a lot of use when I'm recording an album. The reason I did that is because I wanted to give it more of the early 50s gold top Les Paul sound when they were using P90 pickups. So today I've been tinkering with the electrics again. I've just changed it to the 50s wiring schematic because I did that to my Les Paul custom a few weeks ago and I really do prefer it. And I've put in some Lux Grey Tiger reproduction capacitors. I'm loving Lux capacitors at the moment, they sound absolutely awesome. Now, when I did my Les Paul Custom a few weeks ago, we had more low end, more treble, and more output overall. And a few of you commented, and thank you for doing that, that the extra high end was probably being caused by going to 550k pots rather than sticking with the stock 500s. And that's very true, it probably was. So today what I've done is I've left the pots well alone. I do have some CTS pots I am going to put in there, but I haven't done it yet. All I've done is change the wiring spec and put in the capacitors. So I'm going to do the usual thing today, before and after, put it all side by side so we can see the differences. And we can see what effect changing the wiring and the capacitors has on this guitar. So without further ado, let's rock! <laughs>
guitar now seems to have slightly more output and a thicker, more rounded low end, to my ears at least, but it's not brighter. If anything, it's slightly darker, but I do quite like that. As I always say though, there's no best or better, it's all very subjective and down to your personal tastes. So please do comment underneath this video, let me know which one you prefer and why. I do love it when you get involved. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, I hope that was interesting. Please do hit the me subscribe icon because that really, really does help. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.